Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make cinnamon swirl bread. So let's get started. First in the small bowl, add in the warm milk, yeast, and sugar. And beat them really well together until they're well combined. And set it aside for 10 minutes until the yeast has activated. Then in a larger bowl, add in the flour and salt. And mix them together until they're combined. Then add in the cold cubed butter and rub it into the flour mixture until it's evenly combined and forms fine crumbs. Then add in the eggs and the yeast mixture and mix them together until they're well combined and a dough starts forming. Then turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface and knead the dough for a few minutes until it becomes smooth. Then grease the same bowl that you had the dough in before with nonstick cooking spray and place the dough into the bowl and turn it over a few times until the dough is coated in the oil. Then wrap it in plastic wrap and let it rise in a warm place for about one to two hours until it doubles in size. Then once it has risen, turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface. Add a little more flour to the top of the dough. Then roll it out until it's about a half an inch thick and make it into a rectangle shape. Then to make the cinnamon filling, in a small bowl add the brown sugar, cinnamon, and water. and mix them together until they're well combined, trying to get rid of as much of the lumps as possible. Then sprinkle it over the top of the rolled out dough, and spread it out evenly. Then roll up the dough, Then pinch the ends together to seal it. Then grease a loaf pan with nonstick cooking spray. If you don't have a pan this big, you can cut the dough in half and then put it into two smaller pans. Then place the dough into the pan. Then wrap it in plastic wrap and let it rise in a warm place for one and a half to two hours until it doubles in size again. Then preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then once the loaf has risen again, bake it in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes or until the top turns a light golden brown color. Then once it's done, immediately turn it out onto a cooling rack and let it cool for about two minutes and you can serve it while it's still warm if you like. And that's how to make cinnamon swirl bread. Be sure to check out my channel because I've got over a hundred amazing recipes and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.